Hi, my name is Dr. Suzanne Faree Turner. I'm the primary physician at Vine Medical Associates in Roswell, Georgia. We're an anti-aging and functional practice, and we see patients from 12 to 112. I went to Emory for, um, for my training in family medicine and spent uh, time in the military before that. The Navy, it was a lot of fun. The first several years of practice, probably seven years of practice, I did just regular medicine. Practice regular family medicine, probably saw 25 or 30 patients a day, including children. And then about three or four years ago, that whole practice started evolving. I think it all began when I started seeing patients who were well on the labs that I would draw, but they were sick. They would come in and say, I just don't feel well. And then I would check them and do their exam and do their laboratory testing, standard uh, family medicine laboratory testing, and it all would come out. Uh, fine. They, they looked great on paper, but they were sick. There was no question in my mind, and I didn't think they were making it up. So a lot of it is more complete testing, more accurate, more in-depth, you know, checking thyroids more fully, checking uh, the HPA axis function more thoroughly, checking hormones. Uh, having the modality of doing bioidentical hormone treatment has been so beneficial. Uh, partnering with our local compounding pharmacies, uh, to, there's two of them that I really trust and we are able to uh, give patients the hormone levels that they need that are balanced, particularly between progesterone and estrogen, a little testosterone if they need it also, so that they're not uh, uh, excess in one or, or deficient in another. Um, and this natural balance uh, gives them the relief of the symptoms that they have, hot flashes and night sweats and irritability and mood swings, as well as uh, protects them from future disease. So we're thrilled to have this modality to individualize and personalize each patient's care. I started doing IV therapy about a year and a half ago as I realized how important uh, B vitamins and nutrients, uh, particularly minerals, are in patients overall well-being and how involved these are in the appropriate function of enzymes to restore patients natural functioning. B vitamins are cofactors in many enzymatic processes so your body doesn't function well without these nutrients and sometimes patients particularly ones who have poor intestinal function uh, they do not absorb from oral intake of vitamins as well as a patient who would get it from an IV form. So these patients, we have to start to heal them overall by treating them with IVs. We also do hydration therapy, chelation when it's appropriate. A good portion of our patients are uh, elderly, uh, 80s and 90s uh, patients, and then their adult children who are in their 60s and 70s, and their adult children who are in their 30s and 40s. We do a lot of dementia care um, and work with the assisted livings around the area, trying to encourage them to provide better care to the demented patient as far as nutrition, as far as interaction, to give these patients the care that they need and then to help with the adult children who are both stressed and taking care of their parents, but also who are concerned about their risk of getting dementia in the future. We begin to treat them before there any signs or symptoms even show up. And in most dementia patients, we'll encourage them to be started on a, a low inflammatory diet. So that would include things like avoiding sugar, and wheat. We have a dietitian that works in our office and helps us with these patients to redirect their diets into a less inflammatory pathway. So we start with looking at what are the factors in their life that are causing them to have stress. We'd start with limiting the exposure to stress response stimulators, uh, things like sugar, pre predominantly sugar, uh, caffeine, um, alcohol. We'd also talk to them about things like meditation. There's some great evidence about the changes in the brain. If you look at Dr. Amen's research, he talks about changes in the brain that occur in response to, um, to stress. So, so certainly beginning to do meditation, we can see within 30 days of five minutes a day, significant changes in the um, parts of the brain that are involved in stress response. We also talk to them about finding social support, figuring out where their social support might be, having some sort of spiritual practice, whether that's yoga or meditation or prayer. Everything's about balance. Hormones are about balance. Sleep is about balance. Work is about balance. Family time is about balance. Everything is about about finding that center for you. If anyone wants more information, they can go to our website, which is www.vinemedical.com, 
or they can call the office at 404-446-3600.